Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Always great to get off to a good start in conference play. Time for some early season action in the ACC. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game he'll return it from the six he's out to the 30 tackle at the 45 yard line South Carolina's a team and a program that year in year out's got thousand yard rushers sometimes they've got two and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play. And on first down, no less. the 22 yard line first down and he's tackled around the 19 yard line the Gamecocks always have guys that are near the top statistically and that's no exception today we're really looking forward to watching this kid play A yard, maybe two on the carry. Two yards. Third down. From the 17 yard line. Third down. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down around the nine yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Hawkeyes were ranked 23rd. The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. And for North Texas, they've lost two in a row. The Hawkeyes take it easily, a 20-point win. Meanwhile, an update from Birmingham. This game was so tight, 
every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Carter, he winds up with a couple of touchdown passes. The Blazers take it by three. All right, Reese, back to our game. Rivers is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Steps out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Slings it. Incomplete pass. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He's taken down at the 46. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback puts the ball right on the money. So the sack makes this a second and long. South Carolina is up a score. He's tackled at about the 49. That makes it 37. the stop at the 46 yard line so close but they fall short of the first down you got to throw the ball a little deeper next time don't take any chances of coming up short Kelly awaits the snap it's a short kick the Gamecocks really took care of business on defense that first time out perfect one of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment, we're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Screen pass, he's got his half back. And they push him out around the 37 yard line. Call it a game of 12 yards. First down. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at the 43. That'll make it second and four. He guns it to the right. Tackle to 37-yard line. Nice play there to pick up the first down. He did a great job of getting up in the air, ignoring the defenders, and coming down with the ball. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Check, 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 check. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. 
it can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From the 39-yard line, second down. Has some daylight. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws it in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 14. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second in inches. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands. After one, 7-0, South Carolina. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He fights forward to about the 13. He'll pick up the first down on that carry, even though he only gained about a yard. The delayed handoff didn't look like it fooled the defense, but there was enough push up front that the ball carrier was able to pick up a first down. Nicholas gets the call again. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. Gets to about the 11 yard line. They'll bring him down around the three yard line. That makes it first and goal. for a loss. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Touchdown, Tar Heels! Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. So a 12-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Caught with room to work. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. It's first and 10, all on their own 36. this one out to the left and he couldn't hang on to it incomplete he fights forward to about the 39 their own 39-yard line. Third down. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. 
Young the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Some decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. South Carolina's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. From their own 37-yard line, first down. run to the outside so they get five yards there on the halfback draw he's at midfield makes it out to about the 46 the 46 yard line it's first down they'll spread the field with five wide throws incomplete they got a hand on it it's a great job here by the defensive coordinator with his play call a lot of times you start to maybe think about blitzing linebackers this time he keeps the linebackers back in position to be able to knock the football away and not give this offense a chance to pick up a first down and a quick throw and he's tackled at the 37. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. immediately tackled. And this play is number eight on the drive. Five wide. Makes the catch and look out. And he shoved out of bounds at the 13. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Good outside run there. And that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at it. Hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? 
South Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. They're at the seven. Second down. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Knocked out of bounds, right around the two-yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Washington has it at the five. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. North Carolina is up by four. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down at the 48-yard line. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. You know, Brad, this guy continues to make plays. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I would put a corner on him down low underneath, and I'd put a safety over top of him. Put two defenders on him to try to slow him down, because right now, one-on-one -on -one coverage, he is destroying. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. The Tar Heels are going to call their second time out. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He airs it out. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. just kills everything this defense has worked for in this first half. You can't let him score with no time left. And he tacks on the extra point. A short three-play, 65-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 21-10. Miller has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. North Carolina is in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. release tight end incomplete that's 
Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 33. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled at the 45 yard line. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delayed game, offense. And the coach doesn't look very happy after that call. Well, you only help out the defense when you don't get the playoff in time. You're essentially just giving away free yardage. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He lets it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's going to air it long. And he's tackled right away. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. They make the stop at the 16. That brings in second and one. Let's go. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 14 yard line. First down. Tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. Tackle made at the nine. Young only picks up about a yard there on the draw play. From the nine yard line, third down. Ready. Rose, and he's got a man, touchdown. He 
he splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Cox takes it at the four. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. North Carolina is up four. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Check back, check back, check back. Gives it to the back. Tackle at the 46. From the 40-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. North Carolina holds a four-point lead. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Here's the eighth play of the series. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. It's away. Short punt. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Quick pass. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. One more quarter of action remaining, and this one has been a real treat. The Tar Heels lead it by four. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Second down. Yeah. 
Myers complete over the middle. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Kelly awaits the snap. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. North Carolina is up by four. And he's level at the 27. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. around the 43-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Carolina's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. He zips one over to the right. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. down 10 yards to go ball on the 40 and they've got all their dbs in there to match up against the five wide set he's in trouble oh and almost picked off i like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here they were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it
Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Well, you'd think the big tight end would be able to absorb a hit and hang on to the ball, but he couldn't get the job done there. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Nice play across the middle. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. Just over a minute left. Makes the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He passes it. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Give to the tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 19. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Now he's scrambling. Ball is loose. Fumble. Scoops it up. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks. And the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Makes it out to about the 33. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 33-yard line, first down, under a minute left. Makes it out to about the 49. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. South Carolina will take their last time out. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 49. He takes a knee. And the ball game's over, and our final score of this one, 21-17, Tar Heels. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.